Well, Mags, back to back to back wins here at the home of cricket. It was a really good performance on a difficult night. Yeah, um, glad we got a game in in the end, albeit a six over. But um, yeah, you don't expect this weather in June. But um, look, I'm just thankful we got the points. Um, you never know in these conditions, it can go either way. Uh, but I thought the way we batted in particular was um, top notch, really, particularly on a tricky wicket. And um, where we closed out the game at the end in wet conditions was a, a good team performance in, uh, yeah, as I said, a, a difficult evening for everyone. And how about the wicket? Obviously, we saw it on Tuesday night. It was uh, certainly quite lively when Middlesex played Somerset. What were you expecting from it tonight? Yeah, pretty much how it played. I mean, you saw a couple early on really bounce. Jordan got one off a length of finger, but I thought the way Adam Rossent and Dean Elgar played in the power play was excellent to be 66 for one. Uh, really set us up well. Uh, you know, could have easily lost wickets there and been against the game. So yeah, I mean, we we got the total of 80 because the way we'd, we'd batted in that 12.4 overs. I think we we're on for 200 if we'd have carried on. So um, yeah, that really set us up nicely and uh, reduced total six over chases normally favours the batting team, but. Again, the way the bowlers bowled and the lads threw the self bat in the field, I thought it was uh, uh, excellent. And if you check the conditions out of it, the starting with intent, that's something that we've become known for really over recent years. And is that something that's quite important? Yeah, I mean, that's how we play the game. You know, the players are clear that they'll be picked if they keep that intent. Uh, we almost take the outcome out of it. It's just how we go about it and the intent um, from ball one, really. So, again, uh, we've been doing that now for a couple of years, players understand it, they enjoy playing that way and I think we saw it again tonight in tricky conditions, it just shows you if you have got that kind of mindset you can you know, get any kind of target, so um, yeah, really pleasing to see. And what about with the ball, Paul Walter leading the way a couple of wickets, that was a game changing over really? Yeah, as he's got so much experience now, played around the world, Daniel Sams as well, so to have them at the death in particular is key. Changes of pace, clever with the, the field placings, um, and they keep the batsmen guessing. So um, yeah, I thought they were they were both excellent. Paul in particular. And taking the conditions again, just for a second, that interruption in the middle of the game, obviously when we had to go from batting to bowling, what do you maybe have to instil in the players to encourage them to keep their focus when maybe they don't know what's coming next? Uh, we actually spoke about it in the team meeting before about um, we knew it was going to be an unsettled night. And in, in that kind of scenario, it's the team who deal with it best. So make sure we switched on. Um, you know, just, you never know when you can go on. So I thought we were excellent tonight. The guys were always ready to go. Uh, on and off a few times is never easy. But I think you saw when the game started or restarted at various points, we were on it straight away. And that showed, again, uh, some good intent and mindset. And then finally, Sussex tomorrow night. We keep talking about momentum, but we've got three wins on the bounce now and uh, we're in a good shape heading into that one. Yeah, uh, really good to um, get on a run. That's normally how it goes in T20. Uh, Sussex have started well this year, but we enjoy playing at Chelmsford. Really good record there last couple of years. Uh, hopefully the weather's kind or kinder. Um, and yeah, look forward to it. They've, they've played well this year, so it should be a good game.